Pine Grove provides another very efficient way to reuse your custom built slider. There is an option to export the interaction that has been applied to the slider. You can then use that same interactions for any other projects just by importing the exported JS code. You do need to duplicate the layout for it to work in the same way, but this will eliminate the process of adding interactions on all the elements. To export these interactions, first select one of the elements that has at least one interaction applied. Go to the Interactions panel. Go to the Actions list. On the top, beside the search box, there is a wrench icon. Click on it. Next, click on Generate Script. On the pop-up, enter a file name for the file that will be exported, and at the end, make sure to add a .js, as the exported code is JavaScript code. I'm naming my file myslider.js. If you want to export to a different location, you can click on the folder icon and select where you want it to be exported. If not, this will be exported into your same project folder. Now click on Generate Interactions Script. Now your interaction script should be exported and it should also appear on the project panel. You should see the file myslider.js. Let's check the code. Click on it and it should open in your code editor. You do not need to understand the code, but to reuse this, you can just copy and paste this code inside your own JS file. If not, you can directly link your myslider.js in your HTML like you would any other JS file. This slider runs on Pinegrow Interactions, so the pgia.js file should also be included before your custom JS code. So let's try this. In this example, I'm going to create a new HTML page inside the same project. To create a new page, go to the top menu, click on File, and then click on New Page. You should get the same pop-up as you get when you create a new project. We just need a basic HTML page, so click on the plain HTML and select index.html. On the next pop-up, enter the name for the file. Here I'm going to enter newpage.html. Now press OK. This new page will open automatically, and you can see this file on the project panel. Next, we have to copy the layout and CSS. Since we have created this new HTML following the process, style.css is already included in the code. Press Control E or Command E, depending on your operating system, and you can view the code in the code editor. There you should find style.css included at the end of the head tag. When you're done, press Control E or Command E again to close the code editor. Now let's go to the index.html file and copy the layout. From the project panel, click on the index.html page and it should open in the viewer. Now go to the tree panel and select the second slider block. You can press Control C or Command C depending on your operating system. Now we need to paste into the new page. Go to the project panel and click on the new page.html and it'll open. Go to the tree panel and click on the body tag. Now you can simply press either Control V or Command V to paste in your copied element. Now our layout should appear and CSS should already be applied to it. Now instead of applying interactions again, let's use our generated JavaScript. Before including our JavaScript, we need to first include the Pinegrow interactions file and that can be done by just activating interactions for this page. So let's go to the interactions panel and click on the activate interactions button. Check the code by pressing either control E or command E and go to the bottom of the page and you should see the pgia.js file included at the end of the code. Now with the pgia.js file included, we can include our script. Since we already have it saved as a JavaScript file, we can include it similar to other JavaScript files. 
In the code editor just below where the pgia.js file is included, type less than script src equals quote my slider.js quote greater than less than slash script greater than. As soon as you have finished typing, your slider should start sliding and you'll know that it works. Save the project when you're done. This concludes our tutorial for creating a slider with Pinegro Interactions 2.0. In this tutorial, we created a powerful slider based on our custom HTML layout and styling. We also learned how to reuse this interaction to power all slider instances in our project. And we did all of this without writing any JavaScript code. There's a lot more customization that we can work on, and we can use this as a base for our customized sliders. I'd like to show another custom slider that we've done. This uses the same layout, but some CSS is customized, and there are is additional content inside the slides. Almost all the interactions are the same, except the interactions for the slide contents. So this is how you can create your own custom slider with the new updated PineGrow interactions. PineGrow interactions 2.0 brings a lot more amazing updates. Please do not forget to check our other videos at our website. One new feature that we've prepared is a pre-built library of the most useful interactions that we call interaction blueprints. Blueprints have components like sliders, galleries, and tooltips. So now you don't have to create components from scratch. Instead, you just use a blueprint and then customize it according to your needs. You can access Interactions Blueprints by going to the Library panel and clicking on the Interactions tab. Here you can find all different types of blueprints, and most of them have multiple components of different types. Now let's check the slider blueprints. To do that, click on the Sliders. Currently you should find three types of sliders. Horizontal with one slide per page, Horizontal with four slides per page, and a vertical slider. To use one of these sliders, just click and drag it inside the page where you need it. This way you can insert a slider in any page in no time. Do remember, blueprints are prepared with their own CSS styles and the CSS files are placed inside the PGIA folder. That's it for this tutorial. I hope the video was helpful. Also, check the finished project and you can reuse the code or customize it as you need. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us via email or through the PineGrow forum. We'll be coming up with more videos related to PineGrow interactions and how-to videos for creating more interactive animations, so keep watching and following. Thank you for your time and we'll see you in the next video.